The Florida Current, an online news service smartly covering politics and policy. Subscribe for free daily alerts at thefloridacurrent.com. Efforts to put a guidance counselor in every school to spot trouble, require schools to hold more frequent lockdown exercises, or a bill to arm teachers all died when lawmakers went home. Representative Dennis Baxley chairs a committee that heard some gun bills. Definitely a sense of not overreacting to some of the spectacular things that have happened like Sandy Hook. 38 yeas, zero nays, Mr. President. The NRA's lobbyist was in the gallery when the only gun bill, out of 15 introduced, passed. The bill clamps down on the ability of the mentally ill to buy a gun. Sponsor Audrey Gibson says it passed because the NRA supported it. At least we're at the table talking about it, um, and we should continue to talk about um, other ways to make sure we uh, stop gun violence. After a law enforcement memorial for fallen police officers, Fraternal Order of Police President James Preston says the organization would have liked some clarification to the controversial Stand Your Ground. If there's an opportunity to, to recede or back away from the violence, that would be our preference. But if you have to protect yourself, then by all means, you know, the, the, the public has to be able to do that. But the bill that would have done that never got a hearing. We never even had the discussion regarding Stand Your Ground. But the NRA says lawmakers looked and decided nothing was broken that needed fixing. In Tallahassee, I'm Mike Nasalinda reporting.